Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. That's what you said. We grown me. I'm Community grown. revolution in progress. I'm uh, okay. I'm grown. So I stopped gang banging 18. I'm 44. Yeah. I get it. I get I don't it. Gang so I no see more. I see where this guy Community. is. At. Yeah. Revo Do you know what well, that I, means? I, I say it. I didn't say nothing about no mayhem. I say say what community? Community revelation. See there, that's revelation. not a crib. That's not no crib, right there, so homie. That nigga all, not no crib, homie. It's a, it's that a, nigga not up. no crib, this homie. A, hold up, that nigga not no crib. He, you not? Yeah, he. he I'm not a when crib. He was 18. I'm not a crib. He ain't I'm never been one. one. Okay, well, fine. I mean, it's not a debatable issue. It's sure not, but he did, he did a lot of talking about cripping. No, Don't no, do no, that. No. That's what's happening no, now. See, it's a lot on. of people saying they did stay that. And they, see, I get around a big nigga like him, and a little young nigga believe him. You hear what I just said? Okay. I'm not trying to get and, nobody to be no crip. I hope you're not. Okay. That's good. I'm glad you're not. That's, not. that's the point, but but you just talked. I grew up cripping. But you talked. You said I grew that. Up crip, I grew up cripping when I, I'm 44. How old are you? I'm 52, homie. Oh, I'm 44. I'm 52. So, so, so I'm so hold on. How let me, let me get, I don't care about on, you hold being hold a crip or what you was. Hold up, 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 hold up. It's not debatable. Hold up, hold up. We ain't got too much time. It don't matter. I'm trying to make my dollar. Everybody want to be king. <laughs> shit. No, no I don't. Out. I don't want to turn you down, homie. No, but no, 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 I want to no, no, get back to what Melvin was talking. I want to get back to show to, you to why. The progress. This is what happens to the the, when you're having a dialogue. Let's go, daddy. That's why I was gonna wait till you through. But it's good no. you asked the age different. So your era of cripping, you're eight years older than him. So when you come into the game at that, yours might not be the same as him. You right. So both of y'all can be right. And you Fort Worth. I'm from Dallas. So yeah. at the Mur end I'm of from the Murder day, Murder. Right, right. But at the end of the day. Two different worlds. It's two I different worlds, but once again. Sick. And I know everybody that you know, I guarantee you, you know about 20 people that can tell you they love me. That you know. That I, love, you, I love you. I'm but I don't know you. But, I don't, but you don't know nothing. You wouldn't know half the people Now we're talking about let's keep it going, man. Let's go. There we go. Let's go. On to the next Here's the deal. Here's the deal. When you look at the way neighborhood, this is this was a perfect example of what what I see when I look at different people who are in different neighborhoods, who are doing different things, who are on different age brackets, who are on different levels. This is just something that 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 this is something that happens, bro. A conversation between men that's on different walks of life, and that's why I say I meet people where they at. Really, to be honest with you, because at the end of the day, I am a man that been through a lot of stuff. But I know already that, that what I've been through can can calm the room down and say, hey, hey, man, I did this and I did that. But at the end of the day, but at the end of the day, we all are always moving, bro. Evolution is something. You're not the same dude that you was when you was a young man. No, sir. No, you, sir. You, when you was young and you was doing all the street running, you ain't the same dude that was on Mayhem over there by Spring Valley doing all the stuff that you was doing. We are at an age now where we got young kids that's looking at us for an example of which way to go through these microphones. But listen, this hold on, through these microphones. But what he's saying is, again, I like what he's saying. We need people who are qualified. I, I put in work behind Crippers, so I'm qualified. But he's like, I need to know because we got too many people who talking about this who ain't did nothing. But man, he right, but, I agree but, with so that. That's why, so that's right. why he like, man, I need to know because I'm the same way. But I already know his backstory, so I ain't got to question him. I, I watch him, but I don't know you. But I guarantee you, I just I, as a real as where I come from, we don't. I ain't trying to be no no yeah. YouTube shot. I'm just like I said, I don't do this. Bro. I'm, but but I guarantee you, the more you know about me, you are gonna be man. This is this is this no, is what it is. So hold up, but hold, let me say this here too. What what he did, what he just did right now, is what I talked about. We willfully cripping is not something that's forced. It's going to be something we want to do. We love this. This is not a game to us. This isn't something that you pretend to do. Cripping is an environment, right? And so when I t when I tell people I grew up in a crip environment, it means everybody who grew me, well, pardon me, they I, when I was started cripping, I was twelve and thirteen, which is the normal age of somebody who's supposed to be game banging. You shouldn't be game banging when you're 25, 26. It should start when you're young. But the people when I came outside, they were already game banging. They were telling me off the so they told me you can't even be a crib. You got to go, you got to get tough first. You got to learn what's up. So I couldn't just didn't run off and join no crib. Nah, I knew I had to respect him first. I had to watch him. I had to learn. And then as I got older, then I was able to walk the line and really get initiated to this real because where I was growing up, this cripping was real cripping. But as I grew up, I grew out of that. 
I grew out of that. And as I and then as I got around other cribs, they told me, look, bro, you got to get yourself right because now look where you at. You are and it, it, and me going to prison really had nothing to do with cripping. Hmm. But what I did do, what I did know is that no matter where I was at, once you're introduced to that shit, it's like hard to let it go. It's hard to let cripping go. It's hard, and, then, and like I said, it was but, hard but, to be but, and, but let me say this: a lot of times, it's hard because of the lives that's lost during the process of being a crip, too. No, a lot that's, of times, you, this is the main reason why yeah, it's hard yeah. to let it go, because you're still stuck in that environment. You're still stuck in the environment. Damn, that definitely it. But lives being lost definitely holds a, a, a toll on you. Well, you know, when you really joined up and signed up for this shit, lives being lost to you means something. But when you sign up for this shit here. That's the only way you really come in this game, pulling that trigger wow. or getting in some trouble. That, you couldn't go back uh, and come into this game dressing up with braided hair and saggy pants and quit walking and uh, doing <laughs> shit and just claiming. Mm -hmm. And you ain't got no, you got more graduation pictures than arrest records. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.